Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. Youthful and Restless Summer and Kyle were doing an excellent job of avoiding the difficulties that come with having others who are sworn enemies, up to now. Kyle now sincerely doubts that his marriage will last until things change, as he admitted to his father. As it turns out, even that might not be sufficient to right these foul union's ailing ship. Since Diane's return to Genoa City, Phyllis and Diane's long-standing hostility has occasionally come to a head, but Kyle and Summer have been able to maintain a united front and refuse to let their mother's animosity ruin their marriage. Ironically, it was an entirely unrelated issue that led to their relationship taking a turn for the worst. Not of any particular affection for Adam, but rather because she had begged her husband not to keep secrets and he had lied to her about it. Summer lost her cool when she realized Kyle had gone behind her back to work with Victor to get rid of Adam and Chebot. One of the first indications that the marriage might be in for some hard times was when she accused him of acting like his mother, Diane, during the next dispute. The two reconciled after Kyle expressed his regret and wooed Summer back into his good graces, and by the time Genoa City's Bicentennial Gala came around, everything was well till they found his mother telling her she'd be doing the world a favor by strangling her to death in one of the upper apartments while choking her mother. Unbelievable as it may seem, Summer and Kyle survived that terrifying situation. At least long enough to return downstairs in town for Jack and Diane's major engagement announcement, which was naturally interrupted by a furious Phyllis before she passed out, and eventually perish in a staged ambulance explosion that the audience is aware was phony. Yes, Phyllis is still alive, and, well, actually, she's not well right now, but that's another story, and Diane is in jail after being charged of poisoning her based on fabricated evidence. Even though the redhead died in the ambulance fire, she has somehow been charged with murder. However, in the world of soap operas, this is irrelevant. She is in serious trouble, both with her daughter-in-law and the authorities. Summer is adamant that her husband's mother killed her mother and is determined to see her punished for the crime. Kyle, on the other hand, is convinced Diane is innocent. The impact on their marriage of the divergent points of view on the issue is as expected. Kyle recently confided in his father Jack that, unless they can show Diane was set up, he and Summer won't be able to get through this together. Kyle believed that Summer would come around once they were able to expose Stark and demonstrate that his mother had been set up, save for her grieving Phyllis, and that everything would be fine. He was undoubtedly envisioning his wife apologizing to him and Diane for having misjudged her in the first place. Kyle was reminded by Summer's brother, Noah, that even if he does establish that Jeremy Stark murdered Phyllis and deliberately set up Diane to bear the blame, she and Kyle's marriage will not be exonerated. Summer will continue to hold Diane responsible for her mother's passing, Noah foresaw. Why? Stark arrived in town in an effort to exact revenge on Diane for turning him into the feds and keeping his money. If she hadn't agitated the criminal, Phyllis would still be alive today and he wouldn't have been in Genoa City. With those words of caution, Noah may have hinted at the dissolution of Skyle's marriage, which might already be over by the time Phyllis ever manifests herself as being alive. Do you believe that Summer and Kyle's marriage will survive this crisis? Comment below and let us know. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and stay with us.